Do you have a huge plantar wart on the bottom of your foot? Well, there's a ton of medications out there. There's acids, there's patches, there's freezing, there's lasers, there's surgery to cut all this stuff out. How dangerous are warts? What do you have to do about them? Yes, they can be dangerous, they can spread, they can be contagious, but don't worry, we're gonna show you the absolute best home treatments and ways to take care of your plantar warts starting now. Sometimes the people watching these videos give us more information than these research studies. It's hard getting thousands of people together with warts and finding out what worked for them. So let us know in the comments, what type of wart do you have? Is it spreading? And what treatment worked best for you? Let us know, we want to hear from you. People think that corns, warts and calluses are no big deal. And about half the time they're right, but our clinic is filled with people ending up in the hospital with infections under their corns, warts and calluses, ulcers, pressure spots, biomechanical deformities. Your body has problems for a reason and you don't wanna let that keep going on because these can cause people to develop serious wounds, serious debility, stop playing sports, more problems, suffer psychological issues because they're ashamed of their feet and they can't walk, they can't wear the shoes they want. So let's get that fixed, you know? Don't treat these problems as nothing. Your body is trying to tell you something. So the good news is usually nothing terrible happens from a wart. 50% of the time they can go away on their own within two years. But that means 50% of people, it's not going away. That's terrible. Imagine living with a wart that's spreading and causing you foot pain for over two years. I wouldn't put up with it personally, and there's ways to get rid of it quickly. And we're gonna go over all these treatments with you. But can you get cancer from a wart? Not really. It's HPV. This is human papillomavirus, and there's 100 plus strains. Some are on your lips, some are on your private areas, some are on your hands, some are on your feet. Yes, they can be contagious, but usually from one private area won't get on your face, for example, and your face won't get onto your feet. Those are specific different strains, but don't go testing it out. That could be a terrible result for all of us. So don't do that. But statistically, 50% do go away within two years. They usually peak, so they're at the highest level between 12 and 16 years old, and then over 75. Usually if you're between 20 and 75, usually you have one of the more rare strains and they can stick around for a lot longer, and it makes more sense to treat it at that point. Is it possible to get cancer from a wart? Not really, unless you have a lot of health conditions, you're immunocompromised, like chemotherapy, something like that already. Uh, but we see a lot of patients, unfortunately, that have autoimmune disorders that can't treat them with their own immune system. So it can be tough. Always get checked out for your wart, no matter who you are. That's kind of the legal disclaimer. The good news is two thirds of people usually recover on their own, but it can be a couple years. So. It depends how long you want to put up with it and how much it's hurting the bottom of your foot. So on estimate, 10 to 20% of people in the world, especially younger kids, it's higher in younger kids, like 12 to 16, have a wart at any given time. There are a lot of different common warts. So there's a hundred different strains. So they could be superficial and spreading. They could be pinpoint and deep. They could look like huge mushrooms growing out. There's a lot of different varieties and your immune system has to develop antibodies and attack these. There are five layers of skin that a wart can live in. Stratum basal, then you have the spinous layer, then you have granulosum layer, then you have the stratum lucidium, and then you have the stratum corneum. Not all of them go all the way through, but the wart burrows its way through all five layers. So it goes through all five. It even bursts through your stem cells. So it destroys your skin. If you were to remove it, you'd have an ulcer. And it actually steals your blood supply. It steals your nerves. It's essentially a hitchhiking parasite that eliminates your skin and is living on your body. It's not part of your body. It's like an alien and that's pretty gross. So you wanna get rid of that. As a podiatrist, how do you diagnose a wart? Usually you can see black little pinpoint blood vessels and what happens is warts have these, calluses don't have these. 
a corn can look like a wart because it gets down deep into the skin. So it gets down into the deeper layers. So a lot of the times your podiatrist can shave it with a scalpel and see where the blood vessels are. Is it bleeding? It can be dangerous and tough to tell at home, but that doesn't mean you need a biopsy. But in some cases, if you have an autoimmune disorder, if it does look more suspicious, if it's scaling and red, your podiatrist should take a biopsy of your wart. Warts are really tough to treat. They're terrible to treat because it's a virus. A lot of the times it doesn't show up for up to six months after you catch it. So the key is prevention. Maybe you were walking around barefoot by a pool and you caught it and months and months go by and then it actually shows up. Then it can spread. Even if you're wiping them out, they could be spreading. So the key is not only treating it, but you also have to prevent it. I always start off with the most sensationalist treatments first. So number one is surgery. Realistically, you can get rid of a wart pretty easily and it's to anesthetize the area, use a scalpel and cut it out. There's a lot of great people on YouTube right now showing how to do that. I love the Tobro, I watch him myself. The dude does a great job. I love the Tobro, great job. Maybe me and the Tobro can mash up sometime. I used to live in Canada too, so I'll come visit you. But there's a lot of different type of surgeries. You can cut out the wart, but that leaves a little bit of a scar. It's a little bit of a healing. I always have patients come in on Friday. We numb it up so they don't feel anything. And then you scoop it up, you leave a thicker dressing on for a day or two. And by the time Monday rolls around, you're ready to go back to work or school and you're usually doing pretty good with a Band-Aid. So that's how you can remove a deep wart that's not going away. There's also laser. There's electricity, there's burning it out, there's severe acids after cutting it out. All of these can cause pain. They're considered surgery. Which one works better? It's impossible to study these, but I always keep it simple. Just numb it up, cut it out, usually stays away pretty good. What's the statistics on this? It's impossible to study this stuff. No one's gonna grab 100 12 to 16 year olds and do surgery on them for a study. It's just not gonna happen. People are just gonna report these numbers after the fact and it's impossible to know because it's not a randomized double blind study. And you're gonna see that for most of these treatments, it's impossible to get specific numbers. So number two, prescription medications. There's a lot of them out there. I won't even go to the names because they don't make sense to me. They're not really better uh, and what happens is they're expensive, there's dangerous side effects. It's not even worth it unless you're in a dangerous health situation. In that case, you shouldn't be watching a video. You should be visiting your doctor and we should talk about that. So I'm gonna skip the prescription medication. They're expensive, they're probably a waste of time for you. Don't bother. Do the simple, easy solutions. And that brings me to injections. So number three is injections. There's stuff like bleomycin, don't do this. I wouldn't recommend this unless you're in a specific situation with your podiatrist. Uh, decide to do it if you're a dangerous candidate. But a lot of other easier treatments are available. Here's the key, prevent transmission. If, you, if it's on your fingers, stop biting your nails, wear gloves if you work with your hands. If you're like at a food packaging plant, for example, definitely wear gloves all the time. You know, If you're touching other kids, wear gloves or wear band-aids. If you're dishwashing, if you're doing anything, wear the gloves. It's as simple as that until it goes away. If it's on your feet, or if you're worried in that 12 to 16 range, wear a good pair of flip-flops. Look at these. These have orthotics built into them. So not only is it stopping wart formation, but look at this. Look at how stable you are in here. There's an orthotic built in there. Those are down in the show notes because look at how unstable you are otherwise. So fix your foot pain, fix your knee pain, and prevent the spread of warts. This is a podiatrist's dream right here. Orthotic sandals, like 30 bucks. You can't beat that. Keep band-aids. Duct tape, I love duct tape. Duct tape as a cure right here. Does duct tape work well? It's not like the glue kills the wart, but what happens is you stick it onto your skin and the duct tape prevents spread. So not only are you preventing spread, but you're helping heal up quicker because you only have to kill one or two warts rather than a whole host of spread out warts. That's the beauty of duct tape. So always start with foot protection, always start with duct tape before you even get into the treatments. Should you visit a doctor or a podiatrist for your wart treatment? Usually you don't have to. Usually these warts can go away on their own. If they're not hurting and it's a tiny little wart, then don't go see a podiatrist. 
it usually will gradually go away. But if it's spreading, if it's getting worse, if it's hurting you, that's where we can help. Because realistically, it's not gonna get better in one session. It's not gonna get better with one treatment. Try the home stuff first. Try the duct tape, try preventing the spreading. So that brings us to home remedies. So salicylic acid, these are the patches that you can buy at the store. These are the little strips. These are the acid applicators. They work well. Realistically, within about six months, some studies show 50 to 80% improvement. Again, these are low quality studies that are more anecdotal. That means people just report their findings, but that's the great first start. How's that compare to freezing it? So cryotherapy is just as good as cryotherapy. How does it compare to laser? It's been found to be just as good as laser. There's really no one studying and comparing these things. There's some fancy equipment out now. They pitch it to us all the time, like electrical currents, like machines. Do they work better? Maybe. The tough part is no one can really prove it. No one can line up 1,000 patients with the exact same wart, with the exact same strain, and see how quickly it goes away. It's impossible to do, and I don't think you'll ever have a study proving that. So what's my home treatment protocol? Personally, here's what I do. When I see people, you want to exfoliate the skin. So that means you can soak or smooth down the skin, get some moisturizer on there. You can use a pumice stone or something to smooth down the callus. Number one thing is make sure it's an actual wart. If, you, if it's not getting better with these treatments, go see a podiatrist and make sure it's diagnosed because the number one important thing is make sure the diagnosis is proper. You can shave it down, but be safe, especially if you have health conditions. Like pumice stones are good, but they can spread it. You could injure yourself, so don't do that kind of stuff officially. That's my official recommendation. Try the over-the-counter salicylic acid. So the patches, the pads, apply some treatment, put some duct tape on it, use sandals, protective treatment. If that doesn't work, go to your podiatrist, get it shaved down, we can apply acid. If it's sticking around for many months, we could freeze it up and excise it. Really, that's the key to warts. Work with your podiatrist, work with your primary care doctor, get it evaluated. You almost never need a biopsy. They're expensive, they're da more dangerous generally than the actual wart itself. So just be safe. But let us know in the comments, did this help you? What type of wart do you have? And how quick did it go away? Help us out, we wanna know.